I'll start the recording now. Thank you. Hola, Sagrario. Hola, Vera. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Los demás estudiantes. Tengo, a qué tengo. ¿A qué hora entrarán? Tengo tres estudiantes. Me han confirmado que se integrarán tarde. Que entrarán en un momentito. ¿Tú me oyes bien? Sí, ¿Me sí, oyes bien? Lo Ah, se escucha cortado ahora. Cortado, ¿verdad? Sí. Los hoy cortan también. Déjame. Vamos a ver ahora. Ve a ver ahora, a ver a quién me escucha. Eh, Habla de nuevo, ver. Se escucha como cortado todavía. Confirma si se escucha, confirmen por favor si escuchan bien. Eh, un poco mejor, sí. Parece que bueno. Entonces, no se verá, tenemos 10 estudiantes en la reunión, aparte de nosotros. Tres. Bien, pues eh, podemos empezar. Lauren, if it's okay, I would rather do the introduction in, in Spanish first and then you can begin with your presentation. Perfecto, pues bien, este, buenas tardes chicos, gracias por acompañarnos en esta sesión informativa en la tarde de hoy. Eh, con nosotros tenemos a Lauren Hartley, 
Ella es parte del equipo de St. John's y nuestra persona de contacto para todo el programa de doble titulación que tenemos para la carrera de Derecho. Entonces, la finalidad de hoy de esta sesión informativa es que ustedes conozcan un poco mejor el programa, sepan cuáles son los pasos que tienen que tomar para aplicar y al final tendremos una sesión de preguntas y respuestas este, donde podremos aclarar todas sus inquietudes. Yo soy Vera Farías, por cierto, disculpen que no me presenté. Yo soy la coordinadora de movilidad académica aquí en UNIBE y también su persona de contacto a lo largo de todo el proceso de, de aplicación. So, without further ado, I'm going to give the word to Lauren. <laughs> You're on mute, Lauren. Of course. Uh, so, uh, muchas gracias por la introducción. Uh, so, hello, uh, hola, ¿cómo estás, everyone? Uh, nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Uh, I am happy to, to be here today to speak to you about opportunities to study at St. John's. Uh, I was able to visit Umibe uh, uh, two years ago, uh, dos años en el pasado. Uh, just before the pandemic started. It was the last international trip I took actually to visit. I uh, was at Unibe. So I am pleased to uh, speak with your students again. Uh, great, so you can see me and hear me and see my slides, right? Perfect, okay. So today um, I will give an overview of, this is the agenda for today of what I will discuss. Um, introduction. I will give an overview of the program. I will talk about academic success and support at St. John's. I will talk about the option um, for preparing for the New York Bar. Some students are interested in that. I'll talk about career development and we call experiential opportunities. Uh, And finally, I'll talk about the application process and also take questions. Okay, sound good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm Lauren Hartley. Uh, thank you, Vera. I am the Associate Director of Graduate Admissions and Global Engagement here at St. John's Law in New York. So I am the primary contact for uh, admissions and partnerships for our law school programs. Uh, to give you an overview of the programs and the opportunities you might have. Um, I'll, this is the overview of our degrees. So we offer um, three degree, different degree programs, a degree in transnational legal practice, a degree in US legal studies, and a degree in bankruptcy or insolvency law. That's a specialized degree Um, so most of you will probably be interested in U.S. legal studies or transnational legal practice. Uh, to earn a full degree, there is a minimum of 24 credits, and it takes two semesters if you are enrolled full-time uh, as an international student. International students do need to enroll full-time. We do have two degree programs for bar eligibility as well. Uh, you can apply online um, and through the partnership between St. John's and Unibe, there is an automatic uh, scholarship consideration for you. So that's part of, part of the uh, partnership agreement. Um, under the agreement, there's a few different times you could study with us at St. John's and a few different options you could choose. So you might choose to study at St. John's for a single semester. Uh, you could do that in your third or your fourth year of your degree program. We also offer, if you want to pursue a full degree, that is also an option. Um, and you can earn your LLM degree at St. John's in year three or year four of earning your LLB at UNIBE. Uh, finally, there is an option for graduates from Unibe. So either, you know, right, you finish your degree at Unibe and then you can come to St. John's um, or you can even take a few years uh, in the middle and then come to St. John's as well. 
So there are different options for you depending on where you are in your studies, um, your personal preferences and kind of other, other career plans. Um, I know Via and uh, Sagrario can also give you more um, advice and information on when might be the right time and how this would work with your degree program. Uh, okay. Okay, so um, some reasons why you might want to come and study at St. John's. Uh, it's a great opportunity to learn to think like a US trained lawyer. Uh, the St. John's LLM programs are based at the St. John's University School of Law. In the US, a law degree is a graduate degree. So I am a US a trained attorney and I earned my bachelor's degree in another subject in international studies actually. And then I went to law school and earned my law degree. Um, so in the US, you uh, that's, students are following that system and they are in, uh, law students are all in graduate school. Um, so this would be your opportunity to study alongside those students and to uh, get to know, you know the ways that they're learning, the methods that they use to learn. Um, and eventually those might be your colleagues. Um, if you're going to work in the Dominican or if you're going to work abroad, um, you will know the kind of education they've had and, and how they think. And it will give you a career advantage in being able to work with those, those lawyers. We offer practical experiences like internships uh, and summer jobs uh, and skills-based courses. So a lot of the US legal degree is very practical. We really want you to apply what you learn. Um, so I am an adjunct professor. I also get to teach a skills-based class called Introduction to Advocacy for LLM students. So in that students, we do a lot of hands-on work and very practical applied work. We also have an expert faculty and a loyal alumni network. Uh, St. John's has been a part of the New York community for more than 150 years and celebrated that anniversary last year. Uh, the alumni network is very strong, particularly in the New York City area. So there's a, a good, uh, good strong network here. Also being in New York City, we have the advantage of having many of our faculty um, are working you know, in those areas in law in New York. So you are learning from people, your professors, who are also working in that area in the legal market here. Uh, we also have dedicated academic and career advisors to work with all of our students. Uh, so your academic advisors will help you make sure that you're choosing the correct course plan for you and courses that meet your academic requirements and also your personal goals. And we have a dedicated career advisor who works with our LLM students and she helps students apply for internships, put together materials, things like that. I'll talk about those a little bit more in a minute. Okay. Uh, to talk briefly about the international student experience. So we do have an international student office and they will support you, um, students who are admitted once they are applying for their student visas. Uh, our office will help students through that process and then through their arrival in the US. Um, housing is available either university owned close to campus or off campus. Um, of course, New York is a big city and there's a lot of options. There's a lot of, lot of different neighborhoods you can live in. Um, so some students choose to live in university housing, other students choose to live um, elsewhere and often will find other students as their roommates. We have a lot of great student organizations that you might want to join. So groups like the International Law Society or the Multicultural Law Student Advocates. We also have organizations for um, interest groups like uh, Intellectual Property Law Society or Business Law Society, uh, Women's Law Caucus, um, Black Law Students Association, Asian American Law Students Association, uh, Latino, um, a Latin American Law Students Association. Uh, we have a group for pretty much any interest. Um, if you're interested in it, there's probably a student group for it. Uh, one of the benefits of coming to St. John's 
um, is that our LLM program is designed to be integrated somewhat. So there are a few classes that are just LLM students, but there are other classes where you're in, in class with JD students. So you're learning alongside them, um, you're learning from the same faculty members, and you're getting the same kind of classroom experience. You also get to meet those students um, who are going to be your future professional contacts. And then of course, being in New York, we have the great opportunity for um, different field trips or opportunities in the city. Uh, last fall, for example, we got to take students to visit the New York City Bar Association, which is the biggest group for New York lawyers. Uh, and they have a beautiful building in the middle of Manhattan. And we were able to take our students to go visit um, and students can also join that association for low cost. So we got to visit there. Um, you're probably curious, I'll mention this about tuition and scholarships. So part of the agreement with UniBay does guarantee a certain scholarship rate. So you don't have to worry about that when you apply, it will be automatically um, a part of your admissions package. The scholarship rate is 50% of tuition uh, for a semester abroad, or if you, the dual LLB, LLM, and most graduates. Um, so for most of you who are current students or are graduating soon, that is the amount that will apply to you. Um, you can also visit our website for more details about this. Um, international students do have to uh, show quite a bit of financial resources in order to get a student visa. So that's a rule of the US federal government. Um, and so there's living expenses uh, that must be demonstrated as well. If you are coming, uh, the numbers here are for a um, uh, full year for two semesters. If you choose to come for one semester, then of course that would be about, about half of what you see here. Okay, uh, so I'll talk about briefly about academic support and success at St. John's. Uh, we have a class that starts before your LLM program, before the semester begins. Um, it's called English for American Law Schools. So there's you know, regular English that you learn, and then there's legal English, which is a specific type of vocabulary and specific types of words. Uh, you also have different kind of vocabulary and the way that American law schools run that is usually quite different from how our international students have received their education. So this class is a, a three or four week class over the summer and the winter, uh, and it prepares students who are starting their program. Um, generally, this is offered at no cost to students who are coming to start at St. John's in the coming semester. So it is a free course, there's, there's no tuition usually if you're, if you're coming to start in the semester. Um, and these courses will include um, Fundamentals of the American Legal System, Legal Writing and Argument, and Reading Legal Texts. Um, this past several years, this class has been online because of the pandemic, uh, and we anticipate it will be online again in this summer, summer of 2022. It is usually in the evening, New York time. Um, I believe you are one hour ahead of us, so um, between like 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. New York time um, is the class. And that's taught by faculty who teach English as a second language and also um, teach in law schools. So they're very familiar in working with international students. Uh, other academic support that we offer, uh, we have again, a dedicated academic advisor for LLM students um, who can answer your questions and help you find additional support. We have a law school-wide office of academic support. So they can offer resources for you as well. There is a writing center with um, things like tutoring and resources available and also teaching assistants who can offer tutoring and other classroom support. Um, I think we have some interest in the New York bar exam. So um, I will talk about this a little bit. Um, this is not a requirement, this is optional. 
So you do not have to prepare for the New York bar. Um, you may want to, depending on your career goals. If you want to practice as an attorney in New York to be licensed and file documents in court, you would need to become a member of the New York Bar Association. Um, if you want to simply work with an American company or and work internationally, you think you don't need to be licensed, you don't need to pursue the bar exam. So it's really up to your personal and career goals and um, whether you think it will be a competitive advantage for you in your career. There are a few stages to becoming a New York lawyer. Uh, the first is to earn a qualifying education. So this would be earning your bachelor's or your LLB in law first. So at UNIBE, your four-year LLB, and you need to finish that first. And then you come to St. John's and earn your LLM uh, in a qualifying degree. And there are certain types of classes you need to take for that. Um, that we can assist and help you make sure that you're taking. Um, after you earn that degree, then you have to register and sit for the exam and also apply for admission and fulfill some other requirements. It is a long process and it can be an expensive process um, and it uh, requires a lot of preparation. Um, so it's something you really have to think about if you're going to, to commit to it, um, if you want to do it. Uh, we have two different tracks that will help you earn, um, earn that degree if you want to qualify. Uh, and so, again, some of our students do, many of our students do not. So it's up to you. Uh, the degree in US legal studies and also the transnational legal practice degree we call with the bar track will help you qualify for the New York bar exam. Uh, the curriculums are pretty similar. Um, you can see here. Um, there are, they both include the required courses like Introduction to U.S. Law and Lawyering, Legal Research, Professional Responsibility, uh, and then some various electives that you're required to take. We also offer some additional courses for bar preparation at St. John's. These, these are unique. Um, most other schools do not offer them. Um, and they help you prepare for the bar exam uh, in addition to other preparation that you're doing by yourself. And these are bonus courses that are, that are for you and are, and are offered at no extra cost. Um, so these are great courses to help you prepare for the bar exam. Um, and if you are going to prepare for the bar exam, then you would take classes like business organizations or evidence or trusts and estates. These are just some examples here on the slide. Um, as I said, so again, so bar admission, um, here and we we will support our students through that process. Um, for career development and experiential learning, um, so as I mentioned, we have a dedicated career advisor here at St. John's. So she will help you with all stages of the um, career advising you know process. Um, she will help you learn about U.S. networking in the legal community. She will help make introductions to employers and alumni. Um, she will help you work on application documents for U.S. legal jobs. Those include resumes and cover letters. So she'll work with students on preparing those documents and give edits and feedback on them. Um, she'll also help you prepare for interviews. So if you have an interview uh, scheduled, um, she will uh, do like a mock interview with you. She'll help you prepare for interview questions um, and also help you decide how to follow up after the interview. Um, students who come to us for a full year can start an internship in their second semester um, uh, for credit international students. Uh, and that is part-time and you can um, get an internship in your second semester and you take a one credit class along with it. Um, as part of that experience. And uh, if you come to St. John's for two semesters, after you finish your degree, you are eligible for a visa status called OPT, Optional Practical Training. And this is for one year after graduation, uh, and you can have authorization to work for a company in the US uh, without any other different visa. 
So you can do that as you know a law clerk or you know an office uh, legal assistant or something like that. And our graduate career advisor um, will help you prepare for that and apply for those positions. Okay, uh, I can talk about the application uh, process as well, but I, I want to leave a minute to talk, uh, answer questions you might have about our programs or um, other questions about St. John's. You can put it in the chat or you can um, ask me out loud. Okay, so I see a question in the chat from Alejandro. Do you give full rate scholarships? We do not. We do not offer full rate scholarships. We offer uh, partial scholarships. And the, the Unibay uh, agreement uh, is set at the, the numbers in the, in the partnership agreement. Uh, and I see a raised hand from uh, Stefan. Yes, good afternoon. I'd Hello. like to know with regards of the curriculum that you showed us, that's, that, those are all the classes we're going to need to take for the whole year. Um, it depends on your degree program. So if you are, um, the, the, I think the classes I showed were for the bar track programs, um, you would need 24 credits and you have to fulfill those certain requirements. If you do a transnational legal practice without the bar track, you would have different classes that you could take. Uh, and there's there's more details about that available, you know, on our on our website, and I can share that with you as well. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Sure. I think we have uh, so I see Marcos uh, has has joined, who is in a Unibe alum and he came to St. John's. Um, Marcos, would you be willing to to say hello and tell people a little bit about your experience? Hi Marcos, you uh, I can see your forehead. There you go. And let me you gotta unmute. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Well, first, uh, Lauren, I'm glad to meet you. I know you wrote me on LinkedIn uh, once, but now I'm available. Yes. And okay. my first impression of St. John's, it was, is this possible make an LLM before being a JD? It changed my life because I made a lot of networking. I used to live in New York, in Henley Road, of course. And I learned from many cultures in campus. Uh, I had Arabian friends from Latin America, Asia, in a cross-border world. It was a great experience for me. And if Marcos, you... puedes hablar en español, uh, if you prefer. And student, our students, if, or our viewer, if you have any questions for Marcos, please feel free to ask, and you can ask in Spanish. I, I, I understand most Spanish. I just cannot speak back to you. Um, so feel Sorry. free to ask if, if, so any students, if you want to ask Marcos questions, uh, please feel free. Eh, muchachos, claro que sí, me pueden preguntar lo que quieran. Eh, solamente identifíquense con su nombre y apellido para conocerles y les voy a dejar mi teléfono a los interesados. Eh, nada, empiecen a preguntar. Mi experiencia con los eh, faculty members. Señores, St. John's da la oportunidad que no da otra oh, universidad en Estados Unidos de tener un contacto directo, sea con el dean o un profesor. Eso también me sorprendió. O sea, que Dean Simons, un egresado de Harvard, te invite a su casa una noche. Eso no se hace en otra universidad en Estados Unidos. O sea, con los transnational students. Eso fue una oportunidad única que yo tuve 
para hacer networking con él que en otra universidad no te la dan definitivamente. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Hola, profe. Hola, Marcos. Quiero intervenir. No sé si me escuchan bien. Confirme si me escuchan bien. Sí, sí te escuchamos escucha. bien. De acuerdo. Quiero agregar con Marcos, eh, para la, Loren, eh, somos entusiastas de San John. El trato, la recepción, el nivel, el campus, eh, todo lo que ofrece, saber que a través de este convenio tienen un descuento, es importante los números finales o a, aproximados, Vera, es bueno que lo sepan, saber que en el ranking de las universidades de Estados Unidos está en un muy importante lugar y que su escuela de derecho es una de las que ha llevado varios jueces de Suprema Corte. Entonces, para nosotros, que unos 23 estudiantes estén en este momento, bueno, 22 estudiantes y un egresado, que en este caso es Marcos, estén aquí con nosotros, que les den la facilidad para que puedan conocer más de la barra de abogados y estos exámenes, saber que es una oportunidad tremenda y agrego un plus de este programa. Es el único que existe en el país que hace el mix entre el Common Law, el derecho anglosajón, y el Civil Law de la República Dominicana y de los franceses. Es muy importante que usted se convierta en un abogado global si tiene los dos programas. Y eso yo creo que es de las cosas que hay que mencionar. Y Marcos ha mencionado quiénes eran sus compañeros de clase. Loren en su exposición nos dijo quiénes eran, son maestrantes. ¿eh? Algunos son de otro nivel y personas que tienen siete y ocho años estudiando Derecho y usted de apenas con dos años y pico, tres años de la carrera, pueden ser colegas de esas personas. Así que conozco de fondo, conozco de forma las bondades de este programa y por eso hemos tenido tanto interés en que esta tarde nos reunamos. Así que los motivo. Buenísimo. Muchísimas gracias, eh, Marcos y Sagrario, por sus comentarios. Loren, tenemos algunas preguntas en el chat. If you want them, if you want me to read them to you, would that be okay? Uh, sure. I think I see one. Uh, there's a question about the full last year of the bachelor degree at St. John's and if they need to repeat. Um, so under the agreement, my understanding is that yes, you can you can do come to St. John's for the last year of your bachelor's degree. Um, as for which courses you will take, um, you, you do have to fulfill you know the St. John's um, requirements. Um, but we our offices work together to to establish which courses you can take, um, and we would work you know you have an academic advisor here at St. John's. And we make sure that we work with, you know, the staff at Uni Bay to for the classes um, to qualify for both. Um, as to whether you're re repeating courses, uh, you know, our courses are are different. They're taught from the American law perspective, so I would say you're not. It, it's different. You you haven't taken the course before, so you can't repeat it, if that makes sense. Um, and if you do come, I will say in your your bachelor's in your LLB. Uh, fourth year, uh, then you would be looking at our transnational legal practice degree. So you have a lot of flexibility there to choose international and comparative courses. Um, and you could, you know, you can focus on business, or you can take more public international law courses, you know, so private or, or public, uh, depending on your, your interests. Um, about half of the credits you would take are, you know, For required courses through St. John's, and in the other half, you will be able to work to choose your electives. There was also a question regarding the, the process, if it would be the same for a U.S. citizen as it would be for a Dominican student. Yes, so the application process is, is the same. Um, the, the difference, if you are, I know we have some citizens and residents, um, is that you have a little bit more flexibility on a few things um, from our perspective. So you also have to check with Unibate to make sure this works with their perspective. Um, 
So if you, if you are a US citizen or a permanent resident, for our purposes, you can enroll part-time. Of course, if you are pursuing the uh, degree in your last year of your LLB, maybe you need to finish in one year, right? So, you, so then you need to enroll full-time uh, for UNIBE. Uh, but maybe if you're a graduate and you're done and you want to take a little more time, from our perspective, that's okay. You can do that. You have the flexibility to do that as a citizen or permanent resident. Um, citizens and residents are also available for, or are also able to take advantage of federal student aid. Um, so like student loans, uh, which is com commonly used in the US education system. Um, and our, we have an office of student financial services and they can work with all of our students. If you're a citizen or a resident, you will have different options uh, than an international student would have. So those are some differences for citizens versus um, those who would need a student visa. I hope that answers that question. Um, there was also a question from Amy regarding the, about housing works. Housing, yes. So the housing office is a university run office uh, and they have a, their own website and an application process. So their deadline is usually in the spring, so like April or May, um, and you have to kind of meet their, their deadlines and apply. Uh, in the past several years, everyone who has wanted university housing has been able to get it. It's, it hasn't been a problem. Um, and But of our current students, we have about 45. Um, in our program, and I think only four or five are in university owned housing, uh, and the others have chosen to live off campus. Some of them are roommates together. Um, and maybe Marcos, I don't, where did, I don't know where, where did you live when you were here? Did Henley you live on Road. campus or off campus? Off campus to on Henley. Off campus, so, so university owned, but off campus. Yeah. Okay, great. Yes. So, so that's in that's uh they're about um, what a kilometer and a half. Yeah. From the last right, schools. and you have the bus service from the university to Henley. Yes, and it's it's like a little apartment, and there's a little um, like kitchens you can use. Um, we do have a cafeteria on campus as well, but the the graduate housing has um, kitchens where you can make your own meals if you want. Great, so any other questions so far or do you want us to keep going with the, the presentation? I can talk about the application process yes. and then maybe people will have more questions about that. Yeah, perhaps. Okay, great. Okay, let me skip ahead to that. Okay, so the application process is all, um, you can do it online. Um, so you can see here, this is their, our website. We'll share this information with you um, afterwards as well. Uh, the application materials uh, include a resume, uh, your transcripts from Unibay. Um, I'll say you, you don't need the foreign transcript evaluation because of our partnership, so you don't have to submit that. Um, we will just take the transcripts from Unibay. We ask for two letters of recommendation. Um, so these would come probably from professors or if you have like an internship or a work supervisor, um, that would be an appropriate person to write a letter of recommendation. Uh, the letter of recommendation should say, you know, should be familiar, someone familiar with your work and someone who could say if you will be able to succeed in our programs. The personal statement is something that you write, uh, like maybe one page that gives us some information about your background and why you want to study at St. John's and how it fits with your career goals. Uh, the person, the writing sample uh, is different. The writing sample is something that you have already written for school or for work. And this is three to five pages long. Uh, it gives us an uh, example of your writing ability. Uh, it can be legal. It doesn't have to be. Um, if it is legal, that's great. 
But if you don't have something that's legal, we, I can talk to you about what you might want to use instead. Um, we also ask for an English language proficiency score, um, such as a TOEFL or an IELTS. We also accept the Duolingo English test. Um, this is a test that is available online for you to do at home, uh, and it's much less expensive than TOEFL or IELTS. It is only about 50, 50 US dollars. Um, and we are currently accepting applications for the upcoming school year. For our, our fall semester starts in August and runs August through December. Our spring semester runs January through May, uh, and you can apply for, for either one of those. Uh, and our application deadline for the fall semester is April 15, so uh, April, uh, uh, quince, April 15th. Any questions about the application materials? Any, any questions about these our application materials at all? I also put in the chat, this is a link to our frequently asked questions page. So it has a lot of additional information about application materials. Just a note to say that uh, we are for them at the School of Law and Vera also uh, about uh, subjects related to UNIVE and the classes and all. And uh, it's mean that we will be here for them and uh, we, we hope really, really very deep that we decide about St. John University, really. Yes, yes, if you have questions about um, any of these, we, I can help you, but also your, your staff at Unibay can help you as well. Okay, any other, any other questions for me? Everything is clear, okay. I think Marcus had to go, but I'm sure you could reach out to him and get in touch if you have questions and I'm sure he'd be happy to, to speak to you. So is everything clear? So Okay, we have a question from Eileen. You have, um, you've started your application process. You can't find to where to upload the documents or do you have to send them farther? Um, so in our online application portal, uh, there's a couple, like think of it in a couple stages. So the first stage, the part of the process is to submit all of the background information. So you need to give your information about yourself, your academic history, um, you, accept terms and conditions and you provide an electronic signature and you have to submit that uh, part. So you submit the first part of the background of the application. Once you submit, then you'll be able to upload documents. Um, so maybe you, maybe you haven't submitted the first part yet um, and that's why you're not able to, to upload. Um, you can email us at LLM, the email here, LLM at stjohns.edu. Um, with your with your name and your email address, you know, in the email, then we can look it up and check for you. So if you ever have any questions, you can you can email us and we can check on the application for you. Make sure to copy um, ourselves. I mean, in, too in the email, so we can follow up with your process, your application process, in case you have any questions regarding your program um, here at UNIVE and the classes or the credits or anything. Great, yes. So you haven't, yeah, finished that first part. Um, and it, so that means also you don't have to have all the, you don't have to wait to have everything together. So you can, you give us the background information and you can, you can start working on it. So you can, you know, upload, maybe you have your resume done, but the personal statement isn't done yet. That's okay. You can upload the documents as you have them, um, and once they are all together, then we will send them to the admissions committee.
Amber says that she only has one semester left at UNIBE, if she can apply. Yes, of course. Um, you will be graduating in November since your last semester at UNIBE is from May to August, but you can certainly enroll in the, in the fall term that it starts in September, I believe. Is that correct? Uh, well, so we start, we, I think we had this just this conversation, this discussion, our orientation starts uh, August 22nd, 22 de Agosto. So what, um, what might work best is if, if you're graduating, um, is if you wait and start in January. So apply for this, the, our spring term, um, and then you will have a few months also, you have a few months break, so give yourself a few months <laughs> to rest and recover, um, and then you could start at St. John's in our in our spring semester. Does that answer your, your question, Amba? Do you need any further information? Great. So any other questions? Regarding the okay, okay, perfect. Do you guys have any other questions regarding the application process, uh, application materials, regarding housing, tuition, anything? Is everything clear? No, there's no application fee, so it, it will be waived for you. Again, you have to submit the background portion and then we'll waive the fee. Yeah, so it's free, it's free to apply. Um, and you also, you don't need the foreign transcript evaluation. We will waive that as well. Um, so there'll be no fees um, other than an English language proficiency. So great. Um, I believe everything's clear so far. Thank you very much, Lauren, for giving us this great presentation. I please ask you to send it over um, via email so I can have it as well. Um, and also the, the meeting recording, in case we have any questions um, from the students later. And I want to thank also all the students that were able to join us and the Sagrario and Marcos as well. And well, if you have any questions or anything, I also left my email on the chat at the very beginning. I'm going to leave it now again. And I, will, I really hope to see some questions or, or I don't know, interest from you guys to see who can join St. John's for the next fall or spring. Yes. So thank you very much, Lauren. I don't know if you wanna say closing words. And yeah, I think you covered it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we're very you know, happy to speak with you and we look forward to hoping uh, some, of, some of the students can, can join us in the future. Well, thank perfect. You, Lauren. Thank you, Sagrario. Thank you thank everyone you. for joining and thank you, Lauren Sagrario. It was great to see you again. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.